The lifting of a shale oil mining ban in Queensland has infuriated green groups who are planning international protests. The Premier's brushed aside comparisons with Sir Joe Bielke peterson as Cathy Border reports. With a budget nightmare looming from another summer of disasters, the Newman government is giving shale oil mining the green light. It means a great economic opportunity for Australia and for Queensland. 90% of Australia's oil shale reserves are in Queensland, a lot of that around Gladstone. The government estimates it could produce 22 billion barrels of oil. I'm my own man. I believe in development. Green groups and the opposition are outraged. The shale oil industry has an appalling record on the environment and on health. The process for extracting and processing oil from shale deposits is highly toxic. Green groups and the Labor Party will spin this to death. They will push that all the time, but it's complete nonsense. There you go. Mining groups welcoming the news that follows a similar decision on uranium mining in Queensland. So that's very exciting for Gladstone, very exciting for Queensland. A moratorium will remain until 2028 for a shale oil deposit near Proserpine, considered to be too close to the coast. The last shale oil mining approvals were done by the Bjocchi Peterson government. I'm not Joe Joggy Peterson. He, do, he, didn't, he didn't... There's so many ways that we're different, Steve. He didn't, he, didn't do, he didn't do 8K runs every morning, for example. I mean, you know, the comparisons, frankly, are a bit of a joke. Greenpeace says it'll launch an international fight against the mining move, including a visit by the new Rainbow Warrior. Cathy Border, 10 News.